Hello, so today we're going to look at how to write an Ethereum smart contract using Viper. Now, for those of you who are used to watching me do web scraping or using APIs, you may think this is a bit of a tangent to go off on, but rest assured there are many, many similarities. As you can see, this even says a syntactical similarity with Python. And blockchain's not going to go away, and I think it's probably wise to have some knowledge of it, even if you want to be a critic of it. So. One of the languages for writing something called a smart contract is Viper, and the other popular one is called Solidity. Uh, as we can see here, Viper is a relatively new Pythonic programming language used to write smart contracts. Now, whether you want to start writing smart contracts or getting into cryptocurrencies or even blockchain full stop, as I say, it's probably worth knowing about. So, um, why Viper? Uh, just to paraphrase, Solidity was the initial language and uh, it's occasionally it's hard to write very concise bulletproof code and then you leave vulnerabilities and you can accidentally have things such as um, unbounded arrays, you can have suicidal contracts, greedy contracts, prodigal contracts, which can all um, result in failure of some description. So, um, yeah, by all accounts, Viper is actually a very nice way to code a smart contract. So let's just um, just do pip install Viper just before we uh, do anything else. And let me just bring up terminal. I'm using Linux, but you could be using uh, Windows, just the same. No right or wrong answer, really. Just uh, do whatever you want. And I'm just going to open up a new tab off screen, drag this across. So pip install Viper. I've already installed it, so yeah, there we go. I'm using Conda as well, but that's not uh, that's neither here nor there. So if we just make this on top, and um, the next thing we're going to consider is oh, we know the version. We're actually just going to write some, this is effectively um, a hello world smart contract. So I'm just going to copy these seven lines. Uh, I'm going to use Vim, you can use VS Code, whatever, sublime. Um, con Contract.vy. Just going to paste that in. Hello world, so we've got uh, the version. Greet is the uh, public function, or the variable, and it's public and external. Hello world, our constructor. So um, let me see, specifying the version of Viper that this contract is meant for. Declaring a public variable greet, which will be stored on the blockchain. The data type of greet is a string with maximum length 100. See that? Marking our init function as external means it can only be called via transactions or other contracts. So transaction is a communication between a buyer and a seller, uh, should we say. So um, passing the string hello world to a variable greet. Right, let's compile it. So. If you're only used to Python, you won't really be that familiar with compiling, but for the purposes of this, you just type Viper and then hyphen F, which is flag, and then ABI, and then space and the name of your file. So here, for instance, it's going to be, as you can have already seen on the screen, Viper space hyphen F space ABI space contract.by, and oh, <laughs> What's going on here? Ah, I did Vim and I didn't save it. Apologies. Uh, I don't think I saved it. Perhaps I was too busy talking. Sorry about that. Oh, it's... Uh... Oh, maybe I didn't quit it properly. Um, recover, enter. Have we got a contract py there? Yeah, look, a contract.vy even. So used to say in py. Right, let's try and compile. There we go. So um, let me just move that across. 
that is basically the JSON version of the it's the, the JSON version of the Viper, the compiled code that we wrote in Viper, um, converted back to JSON. Um, there, in actual fact, that's not what we actually use for the smart contract. For the smart contract, we have to install something called uh, MyEtherWallet, and then you connect your MetaMask, and you connect to a dummy account, and I've already done that, so I'm just going to finish the video with some screenshots of what I've done, and um, I'm not going to actually do it on this machine because I've already done it, and it would not make good viewing. So, um, yeah, what you'll see is the compiled code, which then ends up getting inserted into the smart contract, and then you can test the smart contract. What you need to do is, uh, if you go to that link, Hopefully it will give you something on the screen because like when I was testing it, it quite often came up blank. Okay, yeah, so come to this site, myetherwallet.com, and then you need to um, use your Web3 wallet with new is the one that I chose. And then it says you need Chromium, but I, I had it working with Firefox also. So um, then you'll need to create a 20 word um, a security phrase and you're supposed to write it down on a piece of paper and so on so um, yeah I'm not going to go into that in great depth here all I'm really wanting to show you is the fact that you can write a smart contract using a Viper and this is what we'll be looking at in future so really this is an introduction video and once you've written the code in Viper you can compile it and you put the compiled byte code into the transaction uh, or into the block which it um, then actually gets added to the blockchain. So, um, sorry, the camera's slipping, isn't it? I'm going to leave you with the screenshots and then we'll be back next time with some more in depth uh, look at Viper and the actual code. So, really, this is an overview and I'm just going to leave you with the screenshots. Uh, like, thank you for watching and if you like the video, subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Okay, so this is just a quick overview of what I did when I was testing. So I went to Ethereum and there are various servers that you can communicate with. One such server is Ropsten, which is a test server. And you can test your code and you can get some test ether. ether. And I also installed something called Metamask, which is available for Firefox and Chromium. You may read that it's available for Chromium, but you can also get a plugin for Firefox. So that's what I did. Once I'd applied for or requested, it said request added to the queue. And I believe that takes, it's only a matter of minutes, I think. It, it took maybe three or four minutes. And then when I went back to MetaMask, which was a Firefox plugin in the top right corner of my browser, then it showed that I had 0.3 ETH added to my account. So then what I could do was use my uh, Viper script to actually, well, I compiled the Viper script. And as you can see, that's the bytes code there in terminal. And if you want to view it, you can also see the command there to um, view the byte code as JSON. So it's very, it's very flexible. You can view it however you want. Obviously, the blockchain uses the bytecode, but for human readability, you want to be reading the JSON, and you can just see the uh, the string there, the outputs, inputs, and um, yeah, there we go. So, if you want to view the bytecode to opcode disassembler, then go to um, etherscan.io, and the URL you can see up at the top here. I'll put it down in the link as well. And um, yeah, you can see the disassembled byte code, which I think is probably um, quite interesting, really, when you think that uh, it all starts with some Viper, which is a subset of Python. And there we go. That is a quick overview and just really just introducing to the various bits and pieces that we will be looking at in more depth in upcoming videos. And I will have to be teaching myself more of this as well. So yeah, any comments? suggestions please let me know and thanks for watching until next time goodbye